time, the wonderful Julieta Walker here on the stage. Julieta is a criminologist. She's a human rights activist and much more. She's an ex-boxing champion. That's amazing. And she's so beautiful and she's such a loving heart. I'm so happy to welcome her. Juliana Rowe! Peace, 
requires responsibility. It requires sacrifice. Sacrifice. That is why we need to strengthen to the peace operations of the United Nations and local organizations. There must be an intentional system of cooperation, a global synergy. There are no first and second class citizens. There is no security in place where human beings don't have access to enough food, clean water, or roof to survive. There is no peace where children cannot aspire to a satisfactory education or to jobs that enable their families to support themselves. The challenges are constant and evolving. The issue of sustainability, climate change, terrorism, migration, refugees, cyber security, human trafficking, violence, the new coronavirus, among others. Specifically, and speaking of violence, there are various conceptions. There are various conceptions, whether physical, sexual, psychological, economic, and or social. These types of violence constitute a violation of human rights treaties. Sexual violence can be used as a deliberate and strategic method of warfare with the aim of destroying the social issues. It is well known that the entire community suffers the consequences of armed conflicts, but women are particularly affected because of their sex and social condition. And sexual violence assumes a deliberate tactic of war. However, other forms of violence can still be eroded, such as murder, prostitution, pregnancy, and forced sterilization, for example. In these situations, human security is drastically threatened and held into question. Rape and other forms of sexual violence, when committed in the context of armed conflict, constitute violations in accordance with the international humanitarian law. Institutional efforts to consolidate and build peace continue to be highly masculinized and consider women as passive victims of conflict, thus denying them an opportunity to act and participate in the formal process leading to peace. We must reaffirm faith in human rights, in the dignity of the human person, in the equal rights of men and women, and to continue this fight to eradicate all types of violence. Cooperation is a key word in this fight, and it is also essential when it comes to fostering gender equality and promoting intergenerational proximity. For only in this way will succeed in creating more peaceful societies. Peace will only be sustainable if there is effective global governance, and for that we are all necessary. We are fellow. We make mistakes, but let us use peace as an expression of human feelings. We need to unite. So, more love, share love, be love, be peace. And as I often say, our silence will always be a yes to what we neither want nor desire. Let us not be passive, complicit, complacent. Let us never lose the courage to give voice to what we believe in. True peace doesn't only mean being free for fear. Let us never lack faith in our hope. All different, all the same, love for all, and may peace reign everywhere. I love you all, guys. Feeling them fierce to earn? Ich liebe euch alle.